Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you guys, um, I made some comfort food. I made some bacon shrimp corn chowder. Here it is, it's really hot, so I'm gonna try to be careful. Um, I will put the recipe for this chowder in the description box below. I was gonna do a cook with me, you guys, but um, yeah, I changed my mind at the last minute. Try to get some of that corn. So I'll tell you guys what's in this. Also, of course, have some good old crusty bread to go with this chowder. So I'm just gonna garnish it with some fresh uh, parsley. Got some parsley here. And some crunchy crumpled bacon. So guys, this recipe is Four slices of bacon, cooked and drained and crumpled up. Uh, one pound of medium shrimp. I ended up using my tiger prawns that I normally use for my seafood boil. It's, I'm reading the <laughs> ingredients right here. Uh, three cloves of garlic, one onion, two tablespoons, I'm sorry, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, a half a teaspoon of dried oregano, a half a teaspoon of dried um, basil, one fourth teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, salt and pepper to taste, four cups of chicken stock, two cups of corn kernels, one bay leaf, one fourth cup of heavy cream, and two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley. Okay, we'll let you guys have the first taste. I haven't tasted it yet, guys. Oh my God. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mmm. Come here closer to me. What are you guys eating? Here's the shrimp. The shrimp are probably a little too big for the <laughs> recipe, but it's what I had on hand, so it's what I used. Mmm. 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 Mm. This is really good. And some nice. Oh, I didn't get a corn. It's a nice chowder for the cold weather. Mmm. I got this recipe off of Pinterest. Mm-hmm. Whenever I'm in a rut and I really don't know. Whenever I really don't know what I want to eat or want to do a mukbang on, I just go to Pinterest because there's a million things on there. Mm -hmm. Hot. This bread just came out the oven. It was the last thing I was waiting on. Mm. Ain't nothing like some good old crusty bread with a nice super chowder. Mm -hmm.
Mm. Guys, comment down below and tell me what your favorite super chowder is. Now, I love um, clam chowder. I think I might make some. Mm. This is so bad. Mm -mm. That's my shrimp. Mm. So nice and smoky and creamy. You cook the um the bacon first. You use some of the bacon drippings to cook um, your onions and your garlic. You add in all your dry seasonings. Um, you add your shrimp. You remove your shrimp. Mm -hmm. um, you add your chicken stock. Let that boil. Add your heavy whipping cream. And then if you have a handheld blender, you can blend it that way. Sorry guys, I thought somebody fell down my shirt. Um, or you just put it in your blender. And puree. Mm. And then you take it out, add the shrimp, add the corn. Let that get nice and heated. And then you plate with your bacon and your parsley. Mm. That bacon just adds like a perfect flavor to it. Oh, this is so good. And the shrimp is cooked perfectly. I was a little nervous that the shrimp was going to overcook. But you follow the instructions. Oh my god. So good. Sorry for the slurping, y'all, but it's good. I am so happy with this soup or chowder. Mm. The corn adds a nice sweetness to it. The bacon and the parsley, nice smokiness. Didn't fall, it fell on my plate, guys. Mm. It's not fishy. My house is done. Mm. 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 Delicious bacon. To drink, you guys, I have my ginger sparkling water. Oh, 
love that sparkling water, you guys. I gotta go get some more. It's my last one. Guys, don't forget to thumbs up the video. Um, sorry, I'm distracted by bread. <laughs> thumbs up the video, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. On this side of the subscription button is a notification bell. If you hit that bell, you'll be notified every time that I upload a video. I already feel warm on the inside. One of those cold, rainy days, you guys. Mm. I got one more shrimp in here. But I got a whole bunch in here. Mm. 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 Guys, don't be afraid of the red chili flakes. I thought about leaving it out because some of my family doesn't really like spice like that. Well, you really can't taste it because once it's pureed, it's not like overpowering or too spicy or anything. I'm gonna have one more later. Get a little bit of that broth. Oh, it's so good. I want to say welcome. Sorry for all the planking, you guys. But I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. Mm -hmm. Welcome, you guys, to my channel. I appreciate you guys subscribing. I appreciate the comments that you guys are putting on my videos. I appreciate the thumbs up. Fine. <clears throat> of course, I always say thank you to my day ones and to my loyal viewers. I really appreciate you guys. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I think I did a really good job with this one, you guys. If you try this recipe, 
please, 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 please let me know how you like it. Make it when it's cold and raining. Or some of you guys have snow. We don't get snow. But we do get rain. Sometimes. <laughs> Mm. So good. Mm. Guys, also feel free to share my videos um, with your friends, with your family, wherever. You can also follow me on social on social media on. Um, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat under the name Miko Yum Yum. Look at this, y'all. For whatever reason, you guys, the bacon stays very crispy. It doesn't get soggy or mushy. Mm. You gotta cook it crispy. You can't do no half mushy, soggy, fatty bacon. It needs to be crisp. Sorry, I know that was a lot. My apologies. Mm. I gotta go buy some soup spoons because this was the only one I had. I have regular spoons, but I want to be able to get a lot of this broth and that's like only spoon I have. I have other ones a little bit bigger but too big to where it's kind of hard to get it all into my mouth so I'm gonna buy a big old soup bowl some little soup bowls and some soup stones maybe a chowder set I'm kind of getting full, you guys. It's definitely hearty. I feel warm. Um, I can't wait for the fan to get here. They're at church right now. But I want them to try this. I think they'll like it. <clears throat> they better like it. I'm not cooking nothing else. I see that shrimp. They're really prawns, but oh no, they're shrimp. They're tiger shrimp. Mmm. It's really good. I'm making a mess.
Sorry if you guys can hear my oven in the background. It takes forever to pull down and shut off completely. As soon as I say it, it turns off. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to wrap up this video. Mm, mm, mm. Woo. I am parsley. All of my teeth. But I am so satisfied right now. This is so good. Please try this chowder, bacon, shrimp and corn chowder, or bacon, corn and shrimp chowder, something like that. Uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Like it's nice and, uh, like I could just, I mean I'm warm, but I could just wrap up in a blanket with a good movie, a good book, or a good YouTube video. <laughs> mm. Okay, guys, once again, please thumbs up this video, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't done so. Hit the notification bell to be notified every time that I upload a video. Excuse me. Come back and join me for some more mukbangs, uh, cook with me, vlogging, ASMR videos. Um, I kind of wish I would have done a cook with me with this one, but it just was... Um, one, I was in my pajamas because I got up super early this morning to make the chowder. And I really didn't feel like, you know, moving the camera around and everything. It's kind of hard to do a cook with me with the tripod and the angles and everything. Nonetheless, this chowder is so good. Get you some crusty bread, throw it in the oven for a little bit till it gets nice and crusty. And nice and fluffy and warm on the inside and go ahead and dip away you could also do like maybe some um, crackers with this oyster crackers um yeah it's good you guys <laughs> I'm sleepy <sighs> time to go night night yeah right time to take a nap because it's still actually very early Sunday morning um but this was really really good Mm -hmm. Alright you guys, I appreciate you. I really, really appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the love and support that you guys give me. Um, okay, come back and join me for another video. I will see you guys all soon. Bye guys.